Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 56 of The Outlaw, Joseph Scott. This is a town episode, as per usual with the even-numbered uh, episodes. And so, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at town. All right, everybody, here we are in town. Joseph is returning back. Uh, if you recall, last week he did the third adventure in the Caverns of Cinder Book, that third mission, where the doctor uh, of the, the town nearby those mines, uh, not these mines, but uh, those mines, had uh, made a pact with a demon and attempt to, attempted to summon him. Joseph managed to get there in time and chased the demon off, but uh, fought an elite lava man who, who uh, actually wasn't quite as tough as it seemed like he might have been. Um, Joseph, but Joseph's pretty, pretty bad himself. So, Joseph is returning, returning to town, so we've got to do uh, our usual cleanup from a previous session. So first he has uh, to check for corruption. Now he did get two corruption earlier, uh, actually during the mission. And now he's got to check for corruption for his items, for his Darkstone. He has two guns, which have two pieces of Darkstone each. Uh, they have a grip and a barrel. So both of those will will apply. So we need to roll four dice. So two corruption hits. Joseph needs to make a willpower test. Saves both of them. So he's good for corruption. Now he's still gonna have to go to either the doctor or the church this town session to try to get rid of the corruption that he does have. And yes, as Polly pointed out, um, in the last session, I probably should have used a grit to cancel that growing dread card that caused the permanent insanity loss. You know, I just I, so often I forget uh, that that rule where the party can spend a, a grit, uh, a grit each to cancel a growing dread card. I'm just so not used to it. Um, in my four-player group, we have the Marshall who actually has that ability, and she just spends her two uh, to do that. So I don't normally do that, so I just completely spaced that he could. Uh, you know, sometimes I remember, I know I've done it a few times in the past, uh, but last session I just completely forgot about that he was able to do that with Grit. So he took the permanent sanity loss, which was unfortunate, but, um, you know, that's, that's what happens. I, you know, possibly could have worked well for him, um, but it didn't. So here we are. Uh, now we need to find out for traveling if we have a travel event. We do have a travel event. Well, that's not a big surprise. Joseph, Joseph likes having uh, a little bit of spice to his to his life. So we are traveling, and he gets a 14. That's pretty big. A gulch ambush. Traveling through a dusty gulch, you get a bad feeling, but it's too late. Feathered arrows whiz past your head as a savage group of Black Fang tribe Indians descend from the cliff tops, hungry for Darkstone. Each hero must make an agility 5 plus or lower 5 plus test. Okay. And Joseph's got a good agility. Uh, if he's passed, he gains 25 experience, and he's able to evade the worst of the attack, escaping into the hills. Uh, um, ah, sorry about that. Uh, dice problems, as usual. Uh, and if failed, uh, they will scavenge and take away some, his, some of his dark stone or dark stone items, and lose all his grit. So, uh, pretty good. Uh, he passes with flying colors. So he dodges to the side, rolls into the bushes, uh, and they cannot find him. Excellent. So not too hard, not too bad. 
Uh, and that means Joseph gets to go to town. So day one, uh, so we were saving up. Uh, we were saving up for uh, getting some void assemblies on, uh, on his pistols. So with that in mind, Joseph, the first thing Joseph wants to do, uh, so we kind of plan out what we want to do. Definitely want to go to the doctor's office. Uh, so we need to go to the Frontier Outpost uh, to rob the bank, try to get more Darkstone. Joseph currently has five Darkstone, he needs 15. So he needs 10 more. Unlikely that he'll get 10 more from robbing the bank. That would be awesome if he could. Uh, and then he wouldn't have to tote around uh, a bunch of Darkstone. Uh, and the blacksmith to get uh, his Darkstone bullets. And potentially the, dark, the Void Assembly uh, if he can, he's it's 2200 for the Void Assembly, he's got enough, and uh, speaking of which, uh, sort of money, uh, this Tome of Rokal for 625 is getting sold. Joseph cannot use it, since he doesn't have a Four Spirit, um, but uh, that's 600, 600 more bucks. So, uh, first, first thing will be the Frontier Outpost, let's see what happens there. Second thing will be the blacksmith, and then third, the doctor's office. Well, the reason I'm doing the doctor's office third is because if the doctor's office closes, potentially Joseph could go to the church and get corruption removed. It's not as, it's not as guaranteed um, and as the doctor's office, um, but, it, but there is a second potential of getting rid of the corruption there. So. I think I'm going to do it in that order, not uh, not too crazy. So let's start with the Frontier Outposts. Let us see what happens at the Frontier Outposts for Joseph, day one. And he gets an eight. The Banners Yet Wave, recover one grit. All right, so he's got three grit now. Well, that will be useful. Just remember, he's got a skill that lets him start town with two. And... So at the Frontier Outpost, we are going to hold up the bank. So it's an Agility 5 Plus test, and he's got six dice. And Joseph, I think, will definitely use one of his three grit here, try to get the most I can. I can pretty much try to get all Darkstone if I want. Five plus. Okay, well that's not good. So yes, we will spend the grit that he just got. So let's re-roll these. Uh, I need a good roll, because remember this is a D3 each, uh, so I need four successes to potentially be able to pick up a Void Assembly this turn. Otherwise, most likely what Joseph's going to have to do is Joseph's going to have to um, carry around a bunch of extra Darkstone, which means probably buying in a second Tomb Chest. He can carry two new things. So let's see what we get. So we get, so we get three. So here is a question. What I could do, I could do this. I've got five, the tomb chest holds eight. Eight and I need 15 means there's seven left to remain, to, to get for the Void Assembly. For, for the first one, obviously we want two, we want one for each gun. So what we, what Joseph could do, rather than, rather than taking all three of these as Darkstone, okay, because it's a D3 each, or I still could take them all as Darkstone. Um, although it's probably not as good. So what I could do is, I could try to get just three Darkstone, right? Uh, that maxes out his Tomb Chest, and then the rest um, as, is going to, we just do it as money. So, so for example, I could do just one and hope I roll a five or six to get three pieces, okay? And, and then next town, you know, we see what we get. Um, actually, even if I get two, that means maybe if I pick up one in, in the next session, he, he's got room to carry one in the tomb chest, he doesn't have that extra one. 
that he has to roll for. And then use these as money. Because money is never bad. He's going to be spending 2200 to get the Void Assembly. Uh, and so that's a big chunk of, of what, he, what he has. So I could do that. And then I don't have to worry about buying another, another Tomb Chest and carrying around another Tomb Chest. Alternately, um, you know, 369, that's not going to be enough to, to get um, the Void Assembly. But I could pick up a, a second Tomb Chest temporarily, basically, and then carry around however much Dark Stone I get. Uh, and that gets me that much closer, means next time I go to town, there's less dark stone that I need to that I need to steal. Tough choice. I'm not I don't think I'm in a rush to get the, the void assembly. It would be nice, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna rush it. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and so we'll say the red is for dark stone. I'm just gonna try to get any extra dark stone I want. That gets me that much closer to next uh, next time. So next town, for example, if I pick up just if I pick up just one, because remember I'm the way this is is right now I'm actually one short. So three, because if I roll max on all three of these, I'm, granted that's not not likely, but it's possible. So that's three, six, nine, and I've got five. I need ten, right? So even if I roll just one. That means next time, theoretically, it's possible that with three successes, I could get the Void Assembly. And that assumes that I don't pick up any new Dark Stone um, in the mines uh, next session. Now, if I roll a two, that gets me even closer, means I'm down eight. And I get three, I'm down seven. Uh, and then you know, seven on three dice uh, isn't too bad. Two, four, six, so that's is going to be average, so I need this little slightly better than average on three dice. Three out of his, three out of his six, and, you know, I might roll a really good, really good robbery roll, um, especially considering I can, I get the rerolls, uh, or I can spend a grit to, to rob again. And that way, I don't have to worry about carrying around a second tomb chest. It means I can pick up and carry two more things for money. Start saving up money for the next to or the next void assembly um, as well. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take two monies uh, and one and one dark stone. Now the reason I'm not doing two dark stone is, first of all, it's not super important um, to make sure I get all three. Um, to, to fill out my, my tomb chest. Um, because if I don't, if I do fill out my tomb chest, that means any dark stone I pick up means I'm going to have to roll for corruption at the end of that because I won't be able to carry anymore. That's not a huge thing, although I am rolling four dice. That would be five dice, um, which would be, which means if I, with, with a really bad roll, I might uh, have, have a problem. Um, but I won't, I'm not, not going to say that, um, but also, um, if I do go over, or, you know, theoretically I, I could, you know, if I roll two dice and I go over the three that I can carry, then I have to sell anything remaining. And if I sell remaining, I sell it for a d6 times 25, whereas when I'm robbing the bank, I'm getting a d6 times 50. So I'm getting twice as much if I take it as cash from robbing the bank than I do for selling excess Darkstone back. So if this rolls a three, and then the second die rolled anything, one, you know, if I roll more than three on the two dice, uh, then I'd have to, I'd probably want to sell that Darkstone back. Uh, and that, that would be a loss. So I'm going to do that. That is what I'm going to do. Long, long explanation, but just letting you know my thought processes. So the red is going to be the Darkstone. Two would be great. Uh, that gives me a little bit of cushion for next uh, for next session if I pick up another one in, during next session. And let's see, and let's get some extra money. Oh, and that was like the worst uh, the worst roll at all. And uh, that's that's 
pretty horrible. So he gets one piece of dark stone, which is not the one that I wanted. I wanted at least two. Um, but again, I'm not really in a rush. All right, and then uh, five times 50 is gonna be 250, 250 bucks. So there you go, that, that is what Joseph gets. Not great, but uh, that's what he's gonna have to live with. And that was day one. There's nothing else he wants to do at the, at the bank. So, is there a town event? There is not, although it was awfully close. We'll move that up. And then we need to see if Joseph has been recognized. Let's see how much money he has to put out. Whoa, that's a lot. Jeez. I guess that's probably about average, but... Um, on eight dice. No, that's more than average. On, on eight dice, rolling three sixes. Um, all right, so Joseph has recognized a lot. Uh, and, and he'll have to spend that money. Basically, the money that he just... Uh, <coughs> excuse me, majority of the money that he just picked up from the robbing the bank uh, went to went to that because that is going to be 150 of his 250 bucks because we want to stay in town. All right, day two. So day two, we're not at the Frontier Outpost. We are going to go to the blacksmith. Good old blacksmith. See what we get. We get another eight, so nothing special there. Um, he will spend his one. Uh, you know, I was forgetting that I need to spend one dark stone for the bullets. So uh, I probably should have done two, uh, two dice. Uh, I completely forgot that I have to spend a dark stone for the bullets. So the one dark stone that he did get, uh, he spent for bullets. So I didn't make really any headway on, on getting Darkstone. Um, that was my bad. Um, I should have thought about it. I said I completely forgot about the bullets uh, costing the Darkstone. But there you have it. Darkstone bullets. Um, and uh, well, I said, oh, the money did help offset his, uh, his getting, uh, his end of day uh, wanted. Uh, no need for a tomb chest, no need for, he doesn't have enough for anything else. So that's pretty boring, but that's it for the blacksmith. Come back to the hotel. Day two, is there an event? A three, there is not. Okay, so we are now on day three. And, uh, oops, and is Joseph recognized? Three more again, so that's another 150. So that used up all the money that he... Uh, recovered, uh, plus an extra 50 bucks. Uh, Joseph's still not doing too, you know, he's still got plenty of money, but uh, can relatively. Uh, but uh, yeah, he can't afford to do too much of that, so let's, we're going to the doctor's office day three uh, to get some corruption. Corrupt, uh, healed, so a seven, smell of death. All too familiar at the doc's office, there is no event. So the first thing, spend 200, 100 each to, to remove his two corruption points. And then roll a d6, one, two, or three. So he gets it, he's gonna take a d6 wounds. He's gonna go to the next adventure with five wounds. All right. Not much there. Uh, we'll spend the $10 for the anti-venom injection. And we will spend uh, 125 uh, to get a, another healing herbs. He had gotten, he had had one stolen last time. So now he's at three herbs and one tequila. Uh, and for those of you who haven't been keeping up, tequila uh, he bought uh, during the 50th episode. Uh, in town, the, that's a one of the new uh, side bag uh, town items that you can purchase. Uh, it is basically it is the sanity version of herbs. So instead of whiskey, whiskey is one d six. Tequila is two d six sanity restoration. So he's he's carrying that around still. Has not had a need uh, for his sanity uh, in the past couple sessions. 
to fix uh, to to take the tequila that he has. He has it for emergencies though, uh, and there's nothing else that he wants to buy there. Um, I mean, they could buy like a tonic. He has one space left in his side bag, but I think we'll we'll keep that. So that's it for the doc's office. So day three is their town event. There is not. So potentially day four. Now I need to decide. I could stay and gamble. His cunning is four and his luck is five. So both those uh, mean he could. I mean he could. Uh, He could stay and try to gamble. Well, let's see how he's recognized. How badly. Again, another three. So, another uh, 150. I think, actually, so Joseph now, so he gets the experience for those. And now I have to decide. If I decide to stay, I have to pay the 150. If I just leave, then I don't have to pay the 150. I think... I don't think it's worth. I don't. I don't think it's worth. I don't. I, it's doubtful that I'm going to make much more than 150. And uh, at the saloon, and there's nothing else really to buy. So I think that's going to be it for Joseph. I think that's all Joseph's going to do. Uh, basically, he didn't gain or lose any dark stone. Uh, that was a wash. Uh, he has five wounds from the doctor treating his corruption, but he did get rid of his corruption. Uh, and that is it. Joseph's going to go into the mines uh, next week. And we're going to see what, uh, see what the fourth mission is. I believe that actually starts putting me into Cinder, which is going to be interesting and it's probably going to be a challenge. So uh, from what I've kind of looked at, it's kind of tough uh, in, in Cinder uh, with managing clothing uh, and the heat and the lava and all that so uh, that is where we're gonna leave it so uh, thank you for watching for everybody in the United States uh, happy Thanksgiving uh, this is coming out around Thanksgiving I don't know exactly when I'm gonna post this but uh, this is Thanksgiving week so happy Thanksgiving everybody uh, in the United States and thank you to everybody uh, around the world uh, who is watching and I will see you next week in the Caverns of Cinder.